I need to fix up my desk space. It's been like this for about, about a month now, I wanna say, and it is nice. I do like the way it looks, but it's not quite there yet. It's not ideal, and I'm so eager for the day that it is. Currently, I have it sitting in a corner in my office, and it's functional the way it is, it's fine, but I think a change would be really nice as well. The biggest thing I think that is lacking from my desk space is lighting and I took some time to browse online for one of those really nice mushroom lamps that I've been seeing everywhere and they're super cute, they look really nice, they're classy, but they are way too out of my budget. <laughs> They look so cute. I just don't find the price tag cute. I mean, I could always get this chicken and egg lamp for $29.99. Can you all see that? Check it out. Or this this croissant nightlight. This is $294. Listen, maybe someday, but that day is not today. So because it is completely out of the question that I will be buying one of these, I decided to DIY my own version. And the way that I plan on doing it is by using these glass cylinders and glass bowls that I thrifted from my local value village, spray painting them and putting them together. And I'll probably use some fairy lights that I have sitting around at home for the lighting source. I've got two different sizes that I'm gonna be creating. One is going to go on my work desk and then one is likely gonna go um, at my gaming setup in the basement. So let me show you guys what I actually got because I was surprisingly happy with the results. And that's the great thing too is so far, it hasn't costed a lot <laughs> to, to at least get this process started. So let me show you what I have. So like I mentioned, two different sizes. One's a little bit taller with a larger top and one's smaller, shorter, and it's got a flatter um, and smaller top. Looking pretty good so far. Now, of course, these need a bit of a cleaning. Um, and once they are clean and dry, I'm going to be painting them. I really wanted orange for these lights because I find it lets off a really warm tone. So that's why I got this from Canadian Tire and I'll probably just have to spray paint these outside. The other things I got were these cute little ramekin bowls. I guess you can really use them for whatever you want to, but um, I love the color. So this was a set of four for $7.99. And then I got this adorable little vase that needs a bit of a cleaning on the inside. And this was $7.99 as well. So lots of really nice ceramic things too, which I love about thrifting. So I'm likely going to be moving my desk around, which like I mentioned before, it'd be nice to have a change of scenery, but right now it is here facing this window, but I want it to go over here. The main thing I'm super excited for is the lamp. So like I said, we're gonna have to paint the glass pieces outside. I'll probably just have to do it um, in the backyard, which is fine, but that means I need to bundle up a little bit because it is not, not fun weather right now. I'm gonna get on some socks and then my coat and hopefully find a box that I can spray paint inside. I also just realized that I should probably wash these first. So I'm gonna do that. Okay, now I'm gonna take some time to take off all the sections that I don't want the spray can to hit. I don't know if it'll work or not, but essentially I want the cylinder part to fully be covered in spray paint, including the outside part. But for the top parts, I only want the inside to be covered. I don't know how well this is going to work, but I'm going to try it. Okay, so I've got the two bowls 
sitting and drying. It's unfortunate because it's kind of snowing outside, so there's a bit of a bubble effect happening, but I kind of like it, so I'm gonna go with it. All right, I'm actually gonna bring them inside to dry, and that way I can spray paint the other ones. So this is what I meant by the bubbles, but I don't mind. So um, I think I'm gonna try spray painting them uh, at the front of my house instead this time. Hopefully there's a bit more cover and that way there's not as much snow falling down. All right, cylinders weren't that great, but at least they're orange. Nice. Okay, so I'm gonna leave these here towards the entrance just to dry and that way a peach can't get to them. And honestly, if they don't turn out great, I don't care, at least I didn't spend 60 to 100 dollars on these lamps. <sighs> up and down, up and down. Now, I'm back in my office. Now, while all of that is drying and setting, I'm going to start reorganizing my desk and moving everything over that I need to move. Also, the spray paint gave me this like cool ombre effect that I'm not super mad about. It's kind of it's kind of nice. It looks a little bit like a sunset. looking so far. I like that it's in the middle of this wall. But now, I want to put the plant in a different spot, ideally on a shelf. Don't know where that's going to go yet, so I gotta figure that out. And we're losing daylight. Not that there was any before. It looks blue. Since we are sort of losing daylight, and we have been for the past day, um, I'm going to put off finishing setting up my new desk space until tomorrow morning. And yeah, I'm, I still have to wait for the paint to dry anyway for the, um, the lamps. Also, there's Riley on my floor because he really likes my setup. Yes. <laughs> Even just moving the neon planet light over here creates a whole mood. I really like it, so. Mm. Hashtag mood. Alright, day two, and the weather is absolutely terrible. I will not be doing any spray painting outside today. I wish I had a garage, but I don't. So I don't really have much coverage that I can spray paint the ceramics that I have and not have to do it indoors. <laughs> so I'll probably just end up leaving it the way it is and deal with it. And eventually, maybe down the line, I'll fix the way it looks. So for now, I'm just going to leave it. I will continue with the reorganization of my work desk because it is still coming together really nicely and regardless, it'll be cute to have this partially incomplete mushroom lamp. So we're just gonna go ahead and do that. I need two things that I need to bring up from the basement. One is my monitor and the other is my printer. Here is my current gaming setup at the moment. I don't know which one I want to grab. This one's obviously wider than this one. I don't think I mentioned this, but the second mushroom lamp that I'm creating, I plan on putting down here on this desk. So as soon as I get rid of the second monitor, I'll have some more space for that. Eventually, I'm going to 
revamp this area as well because our basement is really nice it's cozy we do have a really nice basement it's naturally a really cozy environment but I want to enhance that a little bit especially with our gaming setup that we have all right just brought up the monitor I decided to go for the taller one as opposed to the wide one just because I don't want the monitor to take up too much space for my printer the only issue I'm seeing is that I don't want to move too much off of here and this is really the only surface area that I have unless I just put the printer on the ground, which I'm fine with doing. Yeah, I think that works. I mean, I don't use it very often anyway, so I don't mind just leaving it there. So now what I have to do is, because I have the monitor up here, I have to make space for it. Now the laptop needs to move to either side. Oh my God, the weather. Poor Riley, he's shoveling right now. He's probably gonna have to do it again later. right here I finally have a spot for this guy where he can actually get some light from the window and then I made some use of these little guys right here that I thrifted and this just has some like sketch erasers and regular erasers in it some paper clips and I have my keys and my airpods and whatnot over here nothing much has changed in here except I moved over my pen and marker storage that I just don't want to keep on my desk this is just extra stuff uh, and then my notebooks papers, contracts, blank paper for the printer is down there. And then I just kept my sunglasses here as well. And a candle that I really like. Oh, also, this lighter is pretty cool. It's nice, it's flameless, uh, and it just charges. As well, I kept a little cable organizer here and my wallet in case I ever need it. Super convenient, it's all in one place, so if I ever need to charge my keyboard or mouse or anything like that, I have all of the cables here. Um, and then I left my calendar up there because I do like it. Uh, plus where I will be sitting, it's still visible to me, so that's cool. Laptop I kept on the left side. I have this little thrifted candle holder here. I don't really plan on using it, I just think it looks really nice. Some stickies over here. I have my little gorilla that my parents had gifted me a little while back. Thank you cards that I'm leaving here. The napkin rose that Riley gave me. In here I have extra highlighters and whatnot. Some of my blue light glasses that I like to have sitting right in front of me in case I ever need it. I don't like having to go look for them. Some camera remotes, Bluetooth ones that are fantastic if you're auditioning by yourself. <laughs> and a screen cleaner, which is really handy to have, especially for my MacBook and my monitor. Another one of these thrifted little, whoop. Another one of these thrifted little bowls that I just put some highlighters and some dry erase markers. This is my phone holder that I like keeping my phone on uh, while I'm working so I don't need to keep checking. It's right here uh, and if anything pops up it's easy for me to see. The frame I moved over to my desk here. I just think it fits really well. Of course my DIY lamp. I'm pretty happy with it. I may someday go back and add a few layers of paint 
once the weather clears up, if it ever does, that would be really nice. But I think it's super cute. I think it's the perfect size too. It's not overwhelming. So that's pretty much it, friends. Thanks for joining me. I had a lot of fun doing this and just moving around your space makes it a little bit different. It gives it a fresh touch uh, and you feel a little bit more motivated to use it. So I'm very excited to find get back into my office and do things that are more creative. I encourage you to do the same if you feel like you're kind of in a rut. With that being said, I hope you have a fantastic